I'm Elizabeth Long. I'm an assistant professor of entomology at Purdue University. So spotted lanternflies are invasive insects here in the United States. Um, they are not actually flies, they're plant hoppers, and they're in the true bug group. And this is the same group that stink bugs and aphids, which many people are familiar with, they're in that same group. And they make their living by tapping into the plant with these needle-like mouth parts and sipping sap um, to make, to survive. So wine grapes and fruit trees in particular um, seem to be hosts that are preferred by this insect. So they like to feed on them, particularly the wine grapes. And they don't necessarily um, attack the fruits directly. They're actually feeding on the woody parts of the plant, the grapevine or apple trees, peach trees, um, to our knowledge. So if enough of them um, are on the plants feeding, um, they can actually basically suck all the life force out through that sap and weaken the tree, even kill it if they're feeding for extended periods. So thankfully we have tools um, that farmers, even homeowners, would be using right now to combat insects like the spotted lanternfly. And of course those are strategies that include insecticides and also um, in commercial uh, wine grape production or table grape production, for example, netting uh, to exclude the insects from actually physically contacting and feeding on the plants. Um, so we do have tools that that can kill the insects, so that's good news. Um, but we still have a lot to learn um, in terms of management. And the particular challenge we have with the adult spotted lantern flies is they kind of come in waves and in large numbers, particularly in vineyards. So you can't just spray every day all the time to stop them. So we have to learn kind of what their biology is um, in our area and, and find a way to manage um, those waves of, of adults coming in, kind of like the way Japanese beetles show up in large numbers and then they're kind of dwindling. Everyday people can do two key things to help combat spotted lanternfly, and the, the main strategy is to stop the spread. So first is to be uh, familiar with what this insect looks like. Google it. Um, maybe not everyone's as interested in looking at insects as I am, but please be familiar with, with what the adults, the nymphs, which are the immature stages that don't have wings, and also the egg masses, which are hard to spot, and they're really the hitchhiking stage that we think is the way this insect is moving from place to place. So be familiar with what it looks like and then be vigilant. So whether it's on your patio or on your farm or you're traveling to a campsite with your RV, you know, before you leave, please make sure you look for life stages on your vehicle, on camping equipment, um, so that you don't accidentally move it to another place without knowing. And if you do see something that looks like spotted lanternfly, please don't move it. You can smash it if you feel comfortable doing that. Um, but what we really recommend is to take a picture, note your location, and call the Indiana Department of Agriculture or your local county extension um, agent or specialist and report to them that you think you might see something and, and we'll take it from there.